everyone and welcome to a new video on my channel today's video is gonna be uh, a little tour of my home office I call it home office but it's actually just a corner um, in my bedroom as you can see my bed is here and my desk is right over here it's where I spend most of my time every day working from home this is part of my home makeover um, project it's taken a lot of time a lot of effort a lot of money from me um, I started this project I think in the summer um, and it's now almost the end of the year and it's finally kind of has come together All right, let me walk you through my desk setup, starting with technology. I was given a laptop and a monitor by my company. Both of them are from Dell. The monitor is fine. It's a 27-inch 4K monitor. It's nothing special, but it's really useful to have an extra monitor uh, while working. So it's good enough for me. However, the laptop absolutely sucked. So I decided to invest in my own work laptop as an upgrade from my original 2013 macbook pro i initially bought a refurbished 16 inch macbook with an intel chip because i really like the bigger screen how different the new macbook is compared to the old one this is the two these m1 computers came out at first i was really skeptical because the first generation of anything tends to be unstable and buggy and I just can't afford to have my work laptop being unstable. However, after watching tens of thousands of YouTube reviews, I decided to take the risk and return my refurbished 16 inch for a new 13 inch MacBook Pro with a new M1 chip. I'm not a techie or anything, but it's really hard to justify keeping the old Intel machines now that the new M1 machines are working just as well, just as fast, or even better at half the price. And after having used this MacBook Pro for a month now, I can tell you that most if not all the hypes are real, in my opinion. Doesn't matter if you have a million tabs open or 20 applications working at the same time, it stays fast and it stays silent. That's the most impressive thing about this machine in my opinion. I actually got to use the 16-inch MacBook for a week before I returned it so I could really make a comparison. Um, the 16-inch was a good machine by all of the reviews that I've read. However, it was laggy at times on me. Uh, plus, it was incredibly loud. Whereas this one, I never hear the fan kicked in. I know that there's a fan in there, but I never hear it. The battery life on this machine is also one of the reasons why you should buy it. Uh, plus, you're not losing battery life if you're not using the computer. I initially had some concern about software compatibility, but in reality, the Rosetta kind of takes care of it all, and I never had any issue with it. So if you're ever thinking about making the switch between um, Intel MacBook and M1 MacBooks, I would definitely recommend you making that jump. I would also like to show you what's hidden under here. So here is where I keep my dock. Uh, this is a docking station for my monitor, laptops, and other devices, as well as um, on the wires so that it looks a bit more tidy. I try to keep my desk look as neat looking and, and empty as possible. If there's one thing you should know about me, is that I dislike clutter. I just hate clutter. Here I also have uh, a uh, mini Bluetooth speaker. I would also like to mention my iPad. This is the iPad Pro 11 inch iPad Pro uh, that I'm using for anything non-work related. I like to keep things streamlined for various reasons. Um, but if you don't need to do so, I think this one on its own is it's a very powerful device Especially when you pair it with the magic keyboard This one this keyboard is just as good as this keyboard 
because they basically the same thing it's just smaller in size but it's just as good still there are things that you you can do on a laptop that you can't on an ipad but that list is becoming smaller and smaller by days when i want to watch movies or any entertainment while lying on the bed i can just hook up my ipad to my uh, monitor um, and use the bluetooth speaker and i have a kind of an entertainment system Okay, so let's move on to the non-tech side of this desk setup, the furniture. The first thing I want to talk about is this desk. So today it's going to be a very exciting day because my furniture will arrive. Um, the big ticket items that I had splurged on uh, a month ago, including a new couch, a new desk, and uh, a new poof. I never really had a desk. I would shall begin by saying that uh, the desk that I currently am using it's my brother's old desk back at our previous apartment. Um, and back then, I was using like a folding table as a desk. So this is a desk that I currently have. It's very small. I think it just roughly. Um, 90 centimeter in length when I decided to uh, redecorate or re renovate or whatever you call it um, the my new apartment first thing that comes into mind is a new desk the first desk that I bought was off of Mayfair uh, sorry not Mayfair Wayfair.com it was a piece of shit we disassembled the whole thing put it back in the box and returned it the next day after that frustrating experience, I decided to go on the same website that I bought the couch from, article.com, to pick up a solid wood desk, even though it cost me twice as much as the previous desk that I bought, which was not cheap to begin with. What I love about this desk, aside from the fact that it's made out of solid wood, so, you know, it's solid, is these little compartments. Actually, they're not they're not that little they're pretty spacious this one and this one on either side of the desk initially when i look at the desk on the website i wasn't too sure about the ridges but now that i'm actually using it they don't bother me at all i love these like they store own kinds of things this one this one is like it serves as a, a mouse pad it serves as a tray so that you know if I have drinks it doesn't touch my desk you know it serves all kinds of things this is what I have for decoration I think this planet's called fig fiddle leaf or something like that small succulent and this is just a frame of my one of my favorite photos um, okay now moving on to the fun part these shelves these shelves also have been through many iteration both in terms of the shelves as well as the plants on the shelves at first i went for um, a couple of white shelves from ikea so the mission of today is to put up the two shelves um, above my desk the result of all my hard work for the past hour this is what the desk is currently looking like uh, i've also set up my monitor it's massive it's like 27 inch um and the table it's obviously very small um, i bought a new table um hasn't arrived yet so we'll see how it looks when um, the new table comes in um, but I'm so happy about these shelves but those broke down on me as you can see these are the remnants of that disaster like I have these ugly holes on my walls that I, I, I just could not fill up and now they are sitting on my walls for potentially forever and I replaced them with these seemingly high quality uh, wood shelves so far they have been here for a couple months and they haven't done any damage yet that I can see 
Um, so for what's on the shelves, I these are like the latest iteration of the plants that I have. I like lots of lots of plants and that is the reason why I had the shelves to begin with is to uh, have a place for, for the plants. And as you can see those monstrosity of uh, lambs over there, um, they are grow lambs and the reason why I have them is to basically save my plants because they keep dying and I think that they lack um, sunlight obviously uh, because it's winter time and there's not a lot of sun in this room especially this one it's on the verge of dying and I really like this ivy on to this chair again the chair is another story every piece of this death setup it's a story on its own um, initially my main challenge when buying a desk chair is that they are way too large for for my frame i'm a small person so what that means is that when i sit on the chair i have to constantly move my body forward in order to for my feet to touch the floor this one the dimension of it it's just right for my frame i like that it has these handles and i love the fact that it's made of real leather it's just gonna look better and better over time as you know i wear the chair out um, it will have like a certain patina a certain shininess to the leather i don't like the fact that it swivels but it's kind of a universal theme for a desk chair so it is what it is i can live with that underneath the desk as you can see there's a poof and this one is for me to put my legs up on this desk is quite high for my height so i have to adjust the height of my chair to match the desk in turn it makes my feet sometime well all the time um, having trouble reaching the floor so the solution for that is this poof kind of brings the floor up to me instead of me trying to reach the floor. I also want to show you in that little corner, I actually hung that little lamb over there to add a little bit of visual interest to that corner. That mirror has been there since the beginning and even though it looks really ugly, there's nothing I can do about it. So it is what it is. Um, and this is my latest installment to the room. I intentionally picked up brass decor items because I think that the gold accent works really well with the navy of the accent wall. Um, so that's kind of the th color theme that I have going on here. It's uh, white versus navy blue versus gold. And that concludes my home office tour. I have no idea what decor style I was going for, but comfort and functionality are my main priorities for the space. And that is why most, if not all of these items have been through so many triers and errors. I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you have any comments about any of the things that I just shown you, please leave them down below. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.